Hey everyone, and welcome back to Love Lessons Lounge. For those of you who are new here, hey, so glad you could join our little corner of the internet where we dish out all the juicy tips and tricks on navigating the wild world of love and relationships. Now let's be real, relationships can be amazing, right? Like finding your favorite snack on sale, amazing. But sometimes, even with the best intentions, we end up making some, shall we say, oopsie daisies along the way. So in this video, we're diving headfirst into six common relationship mistakes that we, my lovely ladies, sometimes make. Don't worry, it's a judgment-free zone here. We're all about learning, growing, and becoming the best partners we can be. Let's get into it. First up, we've got communication. We've all been there, right? Hoping our partners will just understand what we're thinking without actually, you know, telling them. Newsflash, they can't read minds. Seriously though, bottling things up or sending those passive aggressive emojis is not the way to go. It's like trying to build a pillow fort with bricks. It's just not gonna work. Open and honest communication is key, my friends. It means talking about your feelings, your needs, and yes, even those little things that get on your nerves. We all have them. Remember, communication is a two-way street. It's not just about speaking your truth, but also actively listening to your partner. Put down your phone, make eye contact, and really hear what they have to say. Trust me, Mastering the art of communication is like finding the holy grail of relationships. It's the foundation for building trust, intimacy, and a love that lasts. Ignoring red flags. We've all seen them, those little warning signs that pop up early on in a relationship. Maybe it's a comment they made that rubbed you the wrong way or a pattern of behavior that just feels a little off. Here's the thing. Ignoring red flags is like ignoring a fire alarm going off in your kitchen. You get lucky and it's just a false alarm, but more often than not, you're gonna end up with a bigger mess on your hands. Look, I get it. Sometimes we really like someone and we wanna see the best in them, rose-colored glasses and all. But trust your gut, ladies. If something feels off, don't brush it under the rug. Addressing red flags early on doesn't mean you have to stage an intervention or call it quits at the first sign of trouble. It's about having honest conversations, setting boundaries, and being willing to walk away if things don't change. You deserve someone who treats you with respect and makes you feel loved and valued. Don't settle for anything less. Loosing yourself as a result of being in love. Falling in love is amazing, but losing yourself in the process? Not so much. When you're in a relationship, it's easy to get caught up in the whole we are one thing, but remember, you were a whole amazing individual. This relationship entered the chat. Don't ditch your passions, your friends, or that pottery class you love just because you're now part of a duo. Having your own life outside of your relationship is crucial for your own happiness and believe it or not, the health of your relationship. Think of it like this. You and your partner are two separate plants and the relationship is the beautiful pot that holds you both. Now you can be in the same pot and still grow, thrive and bloom independently. You both need your own sunlight, water and occasional dose of plant food or you know, Netflix and ice cream. So keep nurturing those friendships, chase after your dreams, and never stop exploring who you are as an individual. Trust me, your relationship will be all the more vibrant and exciting for it. Next up, treat yourself, the importance of self-care. We gotta talk about self-care, ladies, and I'm not just talking about face masks and bubble baths, although those are definitely important too. I'm talking about prioritizing your mental, emotional, and physical well-being. When you're in a relationship, it's easy to put your partner's needs before your own, but neglecting your own self-care is like running a marathon without ever stopping to hydrate or refuel. You're gonna crash and burn, my friend. Make time for the things that make you feel good, whether it's reading a good book, going for a run, or simply having a quiet night in. 
Taking care of yourself allows you to show up as the best version of yourself in your relationship. Think of it like this. You can't pour from an empty cup. When you prioritize your own well-being, you're filling your cup so you have more love, energy, and patience to give to your partner. Expectation versus reality keeping it real in love. Okay, let's talk about expectations. We all have them. Those little or sometimes big ideas about what a relationship should look like. But here's the thing. Unrealistic expectations are relationship buzzkills. They set us up for disappointment and put unnecessary pressure on our partners. Remember those fairy tales we all grew up with? Yeah, those were cute stories, but real life is a little messier and a lot less predictable. Your partner isn't going to be Prince Charming 24-7, and that's okay. Instead of clinging to those picture-perfect expectations, focus on building a love that's real, authentic, and based on mutual respect, understanding, and of course, a healthy dose of humor. Relationships are a journey, not a destination. There will be ups and downs, twists and turns, and that's okay. It's about navigating those challenges together, learning and growing along the way. Last but not the least, speak your truth. Avoiding conflict is a recipe for disaster. Be authentic, honest, and open about issues bothering you. I know, I know, nobody wants to fight. But here's the thing. Disagreements are a natural part of any relationship. It's how we handle those disagreements that matters. Sweeping issues under the rug or avoiding difficult conversations might seem like the easier route in the short term, but trust me, it's a recipe for resentment and bigger blowouts down the line. It's like ignoring a tiny leak in a pipe. Eventually it's gonna burst and you're gonna have a much bigger mess to clean up. Learning to communicate your needs and feelings in a healthy way is crucial for a strong and lasting relationship. This means expressing your thoughts and feelings clearly and respectfully. Listening to your partner's perspective and working together to find a compromise that works for both of you. Conflict doesn't have to be a negative thing. When handled constructively, it can actually strengthen your bond and bring you closer together. Now you have it. Share your thoughts. We covered a lot today, but these are just a few of the common relationship mistakes we ladies sometimes make. Relationships are a learning process, and we're all in this together. Have you been in a relationship where you completely lost your guard and prioritized your partner a lot? Have you had greater expectations from your partner compared to your reality? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to Love Lessons Lounge for more juicy relationship advice. Until next time, stay true to yourself, stay open to love, and keep those relationships spicy.